Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card actually folds like that and stands like that. It hooks under the circle to give it support to stand. Now this card is a 5x7 but the one I'm going to make is a um, 6 5 and 7 eighths by 4 and 1 eighth and I'm going to make it in blue balmy blue now this card is from my card pal as this month's colour is blue so I thought I'd make her a balmy blue so to make this card I have got a piece of A4 cut by four and one quarter. Then I folded it in half, and then I folded the top half in half again. So you're left with like a Z fold. Then you need a piece of balmy blue at five inches by three and three eighths. White cardstock, you need one at three and seven eighths by five and five eighths to go on there. You also need a piece of white at three and seven eighths by two and five eighths to go on there and a piece of white at I should have wrote on the back of all these three and a quarter by four and seven eighths that's to go on top of that one and then for the designer series paper I'm using Gala Gingham. So this needs to be three and three quarters by five and a half to go on top of that one. And this one needs to be three and three quarters by two and five eighths. Yeah, two and five eighths to go on that piece there. Now, I had, haven't got another bit of designer series paper that has got balmy blue in it to go over the top of this. So what I did, I got a piece of balmy blue card measuring three and a quarter by four and three quarters. And that will go on there like that. And I have embossed this in a spotty embossing folder. And that will sit on there like that. Now I have already cut an oval. This is the largest scalloped oval. That's the right way. I've also cut a scallop circle. This is the second smallest, or number two as I call it. Number one's the smallest. This is number two in the scallops, and this is number three in the circles and it goes on like that and that will sit up there. I have also cut out of some designer series paper. Now I don't know the name of this paper. This is some paper that Gaynor Boyce gave me. She sent me a load of designer series paper. It is retired but I sat there and cut all the flowers out. One of these flowers is going to sit on there and the rest will sit round the bottom of the picture uh, sentiment. For the sentiment, I have you I'm using a stamp set by Dovecraft. And the stamp set says ooh, that's the wrong bit. Friendship isn't a big thing, it's a million little things. 
So that is what I'm going to use. So the only thing actually stamping up is the paper. Sorry about that. Right, stamp the sentiment and then we'll glue everything together. So I'm going to stamp that right. That's better. Right, in the middle. I wanted a long sentiment. It is no birthday, which I put on the other one. And I was looking through my stash and I found this and I thought that would be perfect. And it is. And I don't want to smudge it. And that would look nice sat there. Right. Clean the stamp off. Away. I'll put that away afterwards. Right, let's get some gluing done. Because once you've cut this card out, all it really is is the gluing. So I glue the circle on. No. Check these flowers, there's two the same ish. I'll stick with this one and then I'm going to stick this flower on here. And then I'm going to stick some dimensionals. That's my stamping up ones. Right, I'm just going to stick two. No, I'm not. I'm going to stick three. In a line. Like that. And put that to one side. And I'll stick all these on. This embossing folder, I think, is just a generic one. I know Stampin' Up! used to do one. But obviously, if I've got an embossing folder by a different maker, I'm not going to buy the exact same one from Stampin' Up! Or a similar one, should I say. I haven't really looked at the embossing folders in the new catalogue. Nothing really, you know, nothing made me look. I just flicked the page, nothing caught my eye. So I need to really have a look and see if there is anything I like. This on our card. I'll have to contact Sam because I don't know where this card's got to go. I know April and May I had to send them to Telford here in England, but I think she's now back in. France. So I think this might have to go to France. But she spends time in France, Spain and England.
but I'm sure by the time Spain's over and she's moved to France. Right, this piece here just sticks, you know, have an even border either side. And we'll glue that from there. So if I draw a line, that's it. And a nice even border. Make sure there's no glue sticking up. Right, the sentiment I'm going to put on the middle, in the middle, and then these flowers I'm going to arrange. Oh, that big one's going to have to go at the bottom. Lucky enough, if it does hang over a little bit. The um, envelope allows that. How about if I put that there and then that one there? Hmm. That looked quite nice. Um, hide that wood big, that's it. And I like that arrangement better. So we're going to stick this on dimensionals. Top, bottom, Middle, side, side. Take off the backings. And place that near the top. And then Place these again. Oops, do it this way. Put that there, and then put that one there. And that little one can just sit in. So we want a dimensional on the back there and then a little bit of glue there. I forgot about that. Right. Move it over, that's it. That's it. 
and this big one that's going at the bottom so we want dimensional there no this side That's fine. And a little bit of glue there. Take the backs off this. And stick that down. Then this one. dimensional there and let's grab a mini dimensional put some glue just there and take off them and the last flower going to put there and that looks quite pretty and then this believe it or not should sit up there Hold that up, that should sit up there. So glued it on then I haven't got it in the middle You can't see the whole picture like that. It stands up, and that's what it looks like when it. If I stand on this side, that's the pictures you get from the side. And then you can just stand it up. You could add. A white piece of card here to write on I think that is a nice card and put it flat just put it under the
under the ring. I was trying to think what it was. I hope you like my card. Please give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.